I, when were you guys gonna tell me I turned the straightener off? That's really rude. Today, I'm going thrifting in Manhattan because I live in Manhattan. Um, so I'm gonna take you along. I'm gonna take you to my usual spots. I'm going to Spain. Now you know I'm going to Spain. So I'm trying to create looks and I find that going to thrift stores inspires me because when I try on two things together and sometimes they look good and I just don't know how that happens but I think it's just the spontaneity. You're thrifting, you're vibing. If I say vibing ever again, please punch me in the face. This video is just thrifting. It's part of my mundane New York City series. If you like it, please follow along. Please like and subscribe because they're coming along. I have so many ideas for this series. I can't wait to just show you what it's like to basically live in New York City um, because I live in New York City. Did I tell you that? Maisie Peters represent. Anyways, let's pick out an outfit. <laughs> well, I think it's like 66 degrees outside. It's not very thrift shopping friendly for trying on, but it's very cute. Okay, no one come for me. Y'all wear my hat. Should I wear the hat? It's my thrifting hat. Or it's my, I just want to wear this everyday hat. What do you think, with a leather blazer? Some denim? Ready? I'm gonna do that thing. Or should I wear this? What do we think? I think that's cuter. I'm just going thrifting. I want an easy top. Okay. I like it. You know, it's just a casual day outfit. Nothing serious. Why am I talking like that? Can someone tell me to shut the fuck up? Anyways, I'm gonna put this on. I love this bracelet. Got it for Christmas. Zach got it for me. Because I saw Margot Lee on Instagram and YouTube, my girly. Um, she wore it and I was like, I have to have that. I saw they had a pop-up here in New York and I was like, oh my god. Is this what it's like to live in New York City? You're like broke, you can't afford all these things because you live in New York City. But um, all these things are now available to you at your disposal. I'm going to go to L Train Vintage. Buffalo exchange, some oldies and goodies that I know I can find something at because I don't like being disappointed. You can't be disappointed with thrifting. I mean, you can, you can't be lucky all the time. However, I just, bro, I don't have it in me. Oh, wrong foot. You couldn't even see my fucking shoes. These are the Devon art boots from Doc Barton's. Love them. Let's do this thing. Never forget this. Never forget this. I've lost this before. Found it in the New York City streets. It's time to eat this shit up. Let's go. is really like I said a Plato's closet it's just a lot of current brands however it makes it easier to kind of shop sustainably while getting those like current take on trends and they're they're kind of more accessible to get because uh, they're all like curated into one compared to like a thrift store that's like you know all of different decades and trends are present so I was looking for a skirt, long skirt, but I didn't find anything. It's a very small store, this one. So it was like, you know, kind of crammed. Like I said, don't go on a Saturday. Uh, I found those shoes though. This white top, I was so close to getting, it's just, I knew I was getting it for the European vibe. The sparkly one though, yes. 
um, everything about it is a yes, and it's free people, so you can't go wrong. I think the prices here are a little, like, like a little overpriced, just a tad, because you're paying, I don't know, for like fast fashion prices, and it's like they should be really, really cheap, but they're just, you know, you're in New York City, what do you expect? Just, I always think it's so interesting how people who are like native New Yorks will have an opinion about Buffalo Exchange because like it's, it they're everywhere and they're like, you know, they have all of the trendy shit, but it's not like hard to find and you didn't have to thrift it, but it's not new stuff. So it, there's some kind of like cultural barrier there that I, I also think is interesting. I was in there for an hour. Pro tip, don't go on a Saturday. Oh my God. If you have the luxury of not going on a Saturday, I highly suggest it. I've been there on a Wednesday. It wasn't too bad. That, that was chaotic. I was dying, but I found some goodies. I found some shoes I've been looking for. I had a vision for a pair of shoes I wanted to wear for my birthday. One of them to be platform, all platform, no big heel and I wanted to be strappy. Apparently, that's too difficult. Okay, so I may go out again, but I needed a break because um, it's just a lot. It's a lot out there on a Saturday. People are, people are crazy. So we have our reusable Buffalo Exchange bag because we are hoes for Buffalo Exchange. I don't care what the bitches say in New York. I love this place, okay? It's like an upgrade of Plato's Closet. So think like Plato's Closet, less Shein, because these days, that's all they have. It's like less Forever 21, less Shein, more like ASOS, Princess Polly, Dolls Kill, Zara, lots of Zara. So I have this vision for my birthday outfit. It's like an all black glittery outfit. I know May, but it's like crop and sheer and it's a nighttime outfit but I wanted sandals for like a pop of color. These are it. They were a seven, but they fit like a, a motherfucking glib. You know what I'm saying? They fit so well. And then I got this one. I tried it on in there, you can probably see, but it's just this free people tie. I love the ties. It's very, it adds that European flair but the sparkles are still me. So that's what I got at Buffalo Exchange. I was gonna get, listen guys, I was gonna get that puff sleeve top, but I was just very unsure and their return policy is like, what is it? Returns accepted in five days and company by receipt and tag still attached for store credit only. All sale items are final. So you don't even get your money back. I'm eating popcorn on my chest. I'm just taking a break. It's a little intermission, you know? It's like a, a Broadway show, you know? My hat I thrifted from Depop. Go Ducks. I love the Oregon Ducks. Just kidding, I've never been to Oregon. I just like the color and the duck. I'm going to rename the Oregon Duck to Ralph. Okay, so it's the next day. Things just didn't work out for me to continue thrifting. So we're continuing today. I still only went to that one store. It indeed was a success because the one sparkly top you saw that I bought, my friend Katie wore for uh, her birthday extravaganza thing we had last night. So a clear success, as you can see. We'll see what we can find. I'm kind of feeling finding like a Hawaiian shirt um to wear on the beach in spain because i'm going to tenerife and barcelona both with beaches so we need to look cool nothing says cool like a hawaiian shirt let's go Just a little spritzer a spritzer in the morning after you know you've gone out for a night Apparently you're not supposed to rub them together. It mixes with the chemicals, but I still do it. My thought is, if I'm not like rubbing, it won't do anything. Dumb bitch. 
Um, yeah. How's my overdrawn lips look? Look just. Oh, you're gonna tone it down a little bit. Yeah. It's probably gonna look natural. There you go. Girlies have lips today. Let me get my bag and we'll go. The book comes, the umbrella stays. That's how you know it's a good day. I've been reading <laughs> a book series that's sat on my shelf for ages. <laughs> oh my God. I haven't read, well, The Court of Mist and Fury. I haven't read a book that good since I don't fucking know when, but I couldn't stop reading. Lunch break, reading, subway, reading, incessant reading. Come home, eating dinner, reading. Like, you know, not even watching YouTube or a show. <sighs> That's when you know you're feral. I think I got it to fit. If I just, I took everything out. Stay, would you just do your job? You know, this, this, I don't know how people make cooking shows. Do I have room for anything else? Some hand lotion, because we're girls. A pen to write down our sad thoughts. And then I guess my key. This thingy. That, you know that wallet? She's chunky. She's only for like, I don't know. I don't know when to fucking use a wallet like that, honestly. All right, let's go. So I've decided to take you to a relatively favorite place I go to. I've been here quite frequently, and that's L Train Vintage. They always have, you know, the typical oversized sweatshirts, crew necks, t-shirts, baseball shirts, varsity jackets, all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna hop in there now. Now, if you're looking for a thrift store to go to, if you want to feel like a cool bitch in New York City, if you want to impress, you know, your friends when you take them to New York, like I know the best spot there. The L Train Vengeances are, I think there's one in Manhattan, like East Village, and then there's one in Brooklyn, and I think there's another one in Brooklyn. I've only been to two of them, um, but they are definitely like that vintage vibe. I got these gorgeously dad shorts for like 10 bucks and they fit like a glove. They have great denim selection, great hoodie selection. I I can't, I love this place. Yeah, as you can see, these fit like a glove. And I was straight up vibing in the store. I think denim shorts are so hard. I like when they fit tight around the waist and then they kind of flare out at the little thigh so you don't look like your thighs are like sausages, do you know? I went in here looking for a Hawaiian shirt. I don't really think I found what I'm looking for. You'll see in the try on what I mean. I kind of regretting not getting the yellow, pale yellow one, but. God ho. I think I was deciding between whether or not to do a Hawaiian shirt vibe over top of like a bikini or like a dress or like a baseball jersey, which I also think is cute. Um, I ended up going with the baseball jersey. You'll see it in the second, but I have to have that one. So as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day in New York, finally. And it's pretty crowded on the weekends in the thrift stores. So like I said, go during the week. Okay, also while I was editing this, I realized I wasn't very clear about what the frick I actually purchased at L Train Vintage. So I did end up buying this baseball jersey. Love, I just love the simple white of it. Sometimes when you go for something like out of your comfort zone, which I don't think I've ever done something like this. I think a white's nice. I also like just that hunter, that deep green. Very cute, number 11 in the house, all right. But I will be cropping it because she did look like a dress on. 
that was $25, which I was like, ugh. Some, like, kid probably played at high school baseball, and I'm giving $25 for this shit. Anyways, then I got the Lee Vintage Dad Shorts. Ugh, such a good find. Denim shorts in the summer are so handy, however, so ugly lots of times. So you gotta snag them while you see them. And then I just got this is what I didn't show you. It's like a I got it in that scarf section, but it was like polka dot, and I was like, oh, very like Spain, just cute accessory hair. You could do belts, bag. Oh my God, she's so European. She's so elegant. For those moments where I'm not dressing like a complete, you know, freak. Not freak, but like I just, I like overdo it. But like underdo it. Does that make any sense? Anyways, that's what I got from L Train Vintage. So yeah, this was the start of my mundane Monday, se mundane Monday series in New York City. I never wanted to wear off the feelings of being here, but... You know, you, you're here for a couple months and you're already like, of course there's a rooftop bar that I'm gonna go to. Like, of course. Like, there's just so many. The shopping is insane. The thrifting is insane. I also, I, I have been, I don't, I wanna be upfront with you guys that the entire times that I was filming this part of the video, I was staring at a new pair of Doc Martens that I got. And I just wanna show you. I don't know why I've decided I will be showing you. Holy crap, these are the Audric three eye shoe. And I, I don't know what else to say besides hot damn sexy motherfuckers. I'm horny. What the hell? You see that tread? That's Prada, come on. But it's like in a Doc Martin, it's so perfect. I actually saw someone on the subway wearing these today and I was like, mm-hmm. I was sitting there debating whether or not to get that other pair that everybody loves. It's like the 85 second, I don't know. It's the one that has like the padded line on lining on the outside and it's more cushioned, easy to break in. It has the eyelets, these ones don't, which I kind of wish they did, but I like the tread too much and I want it to be unique because I'm not like every other bitch. But I've just been staring at these, okay? I've just been staring at them. The guy, I spent so long in there, he just gave me this dang thing for free because he was like, I think he was like, this bitch has seven, eight there pairs of Doc Martens and doesn't have this, she needs it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my Mundane Monday video this week. And look out for next week's video. All right, love you guys. Subscribe, like, do all the things. Cause this series ain't going nowhere. I'm having so much fun doing this, babies. Okay, kisses, bye.